Right, we're on here at Cadrona Golf Course today. Jamie's in the background. Hey, and we're going to <laughs> and we're going to go and we're going to stop somewhere and talk about overswing. What causes an overswing? What Jamie and I feel are the best cures for an overswing, and basically what we see most of the time we're coaching. So if you overswing, you need to watch this right now. Jamie, how you doing? I not bad yourself. Ah, uh, good. Uh, today we're going to talk a bit about overswing. Yes. Well, I'd like to talk about overswing because a few folk have been uh, on the chat online, Jay, talking about overswing. How do you stop overswing? What causes overswing? What do you see? Uh, I see a lot of things. Do you want me to start or do you want to start? But I'll you take, start. Uh, okay. Right, what I see is very rarely do I see people overswinging by too much shoulder turn. Yeah. I can't, there's no way I can even do that. No. So very rarely I see too much shoulder turn to make overswing. Mm -hmm. A lot of bent left arms. Yeah, a lot of bent left arms. Cupped at the top. Cupped at the yeah, cupped at the really top. Cupped at the That's top. good, I like that. Aye. So up here, bent left arm, cupped as well, so overswing. I find as well that when right arm, because it's hard to control left arm, people do try and keep left arm straight, but it gets very wooden. Yeah. To try and stop the swing, so it's very wooden. Shot. Get a lot of that, it's good, eh? Um, so I try and get people to concentrate on what the right arm does in order to keep the left arm straight to try and prevent overswing. Right, okay. Which is a little bit crazy. When the body stops turning, everything needs to stop. We don't want to continue going. Mm -hmm. So the right arm, when the body stops turning, shoulder stop turning, and then the right arm gets past, if that's 90 degrees, it gets past the 90 degrees, then we're going to overswing because this is happening. Yeah. And so then, when, then carry on. Cast it from the top. Chuck it from the top, exactly. So, I mean, an overswing, John Daly. Right. What's all about? Uh, John Daly, Bubba Watson. Bubba Watson. Few, Eamon, Phil Mickelson. Eamon Darcy. Eamon Darcy, Phil Mickelson. All these guys overswing, got away with it. John Ram, mega short swing. Mega short. John Tommy Ram. Fleetwood. Who else? Tony McElroy, Fina. Tony Fina, all short swings, body stops turning, hands and arms stop turning, much more uniform, smash factors up, yeah. more efficient, bye. And a guy that shot the highest score in open history, JB Holmes. JB Holmes. Shot that 87. So he did, that was final round this year. Right. So here we go, body stops turning, shoulder stop turning, right arm does not go past the 90 degrees, because if that goes past 90 degrees, the left arm's going with it. Yeah. So if we stop concentrating on the left arm being so straight, rigid and wooden and think about if I can get my right arm to stop at 90 degrees when my body stops then there's more chance of the swing being nice and short yeah, in this ab overswing. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> five iron. Right. You've got what? a five iron in your locker? I have got off course I have. There, as far as I'm going, and it feels as far as I'm going, right arm is at 90 degrees. Just there, turn through. Body stops, arm stop. Absolutely flushed. A wee bit clean, but I tell you what's on it, really. Well, that's on it. That's a nice short. See, we continue playing the rest of this hole, I'm taking that. That's my I'll, shot. I'll give you that, it's fine. I'll give you for 30 yards. <laughs> yeah, hit one, do a wee... Let's sort. Cup drift was good. Cup drift. I don't really look into that as much when I coach. I don't know, I mean, I've... I think too much about thing it, but... I think one of the biggest spots I see is golfers losing posture on the backswing. So, what they'll see is, you know, a lot of golfers kind of set up with their body kind of obviously in forward flexion. Mm -hmm. What actually happens is a lot of people kind of graze their chest up too quickly, yeah. which get quite a flat shoulder plane. Yeah. So the body stops turning because they've got a really flat shoulder plane. Mm -hmm. So kind of almost in that position. And then they realise they're in trouble, then to get any extra leverage and release it from the top, the yeah, shaft absolutely. is really steep. Yeah, absolutely, so, so they're back, 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 lifting up. Yeah. It's long. And that's yeah. where you get the cup as well. That's it? where you get the cup. Mm. Everything kind of goes like that and then you get the knuckles kind of pointing down to the wrist. Get too much extension on that wrist. So I mean, way, easy way to combat that is just, it's just feel like you're staying in posture for longer. Mm. And then instead of rising up to the sky, feel like you're keeping your chest towards the ground for longer as possible. Chin on the shelf. Chin, kind of chin on the shelf or yeah. if you go to get an eye test, Chin under the chin rest. Oh, nice. Your eyes tested. Yeah, I totally get that. Go so, that's good. take it for back, kind of chin up, chest towards the ground, get to the top of the batsman. Obviously, that's going to keep this left arm straight. Mm -hmm. Full shoulder turn. Good. And then 
as we come back down, we're going to transfer more weight. Cool. Go and do that face on to the camera, just to the top of your swing and stop. So just face on, right up to the top of your swing and stop. So there, good, and you can see that's 90 degrees turned yeah. a little bit. 90 degrees, not going past 90. Once that goes past 90, this is going to bend as well. Yeah. Bend that. Oh. See? Hey! <laughs> and then it it's, was cupped, and then yeah. you have to stand up to get in that position. But another thing, I mean, if you if you stay forward, the left arm goes on across your chest and underneath your chin. Yep. But if you stand up, the left arm goes above chin, it's high. and you're in trouble. So your left arm goes higher than the plane yeah. of your shoulders, yep. So right, let's see what you've got. What club have you got? I've got five iron here. You'll never reach the five iron. Uh, maybe two five iron. So we're going short swing then? Short swing. I'm just going to stay, stay down for longer. Keep my left arm underneath my chin. Keep my chin on the shelf. Like it. And then that should be it. That'll be good. Oh, that is good. Tell you what, that's got, could be Tell you what, that's got a chance. Oh my god, that's about two feet. I thought it was actually going to go. I had that on camera. Nice short backswing, shallow <laughs> backswing. Absolutely. Jimmy Allen Golf. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe, aye. No, thanks, Jimmy. That was great. Jimmy's just passed his exams, or uh, we think. Touch wood. I think so, yeah. We're almost there. Touch. Um, so, fully qualified PG professional. Jamie Allen's channel on YouTube is. Jamie Allen Golf. Jamie Allen Golf. Or Go jag. over there just now. Jag. Go over there just now and subscribe to that. If you don't, you're missing out big time. And if you've not subscribed to my channel already, please do so. A little button bottom in the bottom. And thanks very much. Good shot. That's right. Good shot. One down though. You had it, G. I know. It's actually ripped it and it's about a foot away. A and big foot. Five iron, 196. 18 inches. I'm um, a wee bit gutted about that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.